Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to do a voiceover on a video or slideshow using nothing more than an app, a free app at that, on your phone or mobile device. I was asked the question on a video I made, you can find the link to it below, how to make a slideshow using Adobe Clip. I was asked if you can do a voiceover. And so I looked into it. With Adobe Clip, there's not an easy way. There are some workarounds, but there's not an easy way to do a voiceover. So I found this free software called Splice. I believe there's an Android version of it, but I'm using it on an iPad. For you when it's your first uh, time doing this. Okay, then it's gonna ask you to select what pictures you want. I'm gonna select these four pictures right here. And I'm gonna click Add in the top right corner. All right, then it's gonna give you an option to choose from some of their royalty-free music. If you wanna add music to it, you can choose from different genres and whatnot. Let's add some pop to this one. Okay, choose whatever song you want. And now you can name your project, whatever this slideshow is, we'll call it a test splice voiceover. Call it whatever you want, click done. Okay, now it's thrown in by default four seconds each picture. You can make these longer really simply by clicking on them and editing the photo. We're not going to take the time to do that because the point of this is to show you how to do a voiceover. GoPro owns Splice. They throw their logo at the end. You can disable that. Um, you may have to pay to do that. I haven't played with that. But what we want to do to do the voiceover is click on audio and let's just click play just to test it out. Okay, you don't hear my audio because I have my music turned down. But if that audio is too loud, the music you chose is too loud, you can select it and turn it down. You can also make the song shorter if your video doesn't need the song to go on as long as the song is. All right. Then if you scroll down here, there's these different layers. The bottom layer, bottom right corner, you'll see a microphone. That's where you do your voiceover. You click the red record button and it's going to give you a three second countdown. This is my video. This is a beautiful picture I took of a light bulb in a tree. This is my furniture and my Alexa. I love the number infinity. And light bulbs are great. Everybody needs light bulbs, right? Click stop when you're done recording. You've now recorded your voiceover. And if you want to, you can play that back and hear your video with your voiceover. You can play with the levels of your music to make sure it's not too loud. You can play with the levels of your music there. You can also play with the levels of your recording, make it louder or softer. You can fade it in and out. There's a number of things you can do. Once your video or your slide shows how you like it, you click this little share button right here, top right corner. You click that and go ahead and export it, okay? It's going to give you some options to create one of their accounts. You don't necessarily have to. You can go straight to YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Or um, I believe it gives you an option to put it right on your, on your device. And then you can do what you want with it. Okay? So that's how you make a voiceover using nothing more but f than free apps on your phones. That's how you do a voiceover on your own personal slideshow. Hope you found that helpful. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos and post questions. I will reply. I make a video a day, five days a week, starting today. <laughs> so any questions you have, I'll address those in future videos. Thanks.